And this is what you really don't want to see is get spawning in on you, but uh <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So we're <laughs> getting everything going here. We are, um, I've done a little bit of changes to the base. And obviously you can see with the, our harvester here, or our flyer, is now a little bit bigger. A little, uh, yeah, carry a little more, <laughs> more resources. Not a ton, but uh, definitely four pads worth. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten it full yet but uh i am glad that we got the harvester going i guess um <laughs> just because you'll see in a second but let's see if we can actually fly uh we're off we, we can't fly but looks like the carbide ore is heavier than most because i just came back with a bunch of olight and the olight i had more of but i could fly faster and higher yeah whatever so, uh, as you guys can see, the, man, there's resources all over the place there. <laughs> We're not missing too much. Uh, I just need this carbite, and then, uh, was it the, the celestite or uh, crystallite? I can't remember what it is. The desert, uh, I mean, uh, salt flats biome anyways. So, uh, we'll just jump to the base here real quick. Oops. Just so you guys can take a look at it. So, what I've done is added obviously repair bubbles and shield bubbles all over the place and i'm sure you guys have spotted that there is less uh actually there's this turret should disappear here soon um i've removed all the turrets because between the turrets and the base itself um when you were trying when we were trying to manufacture something there was just a ton of lag right and uh, the frames just dropped just because there's I can understand it too, because the computer's trying to do, or the game is trying to do a, a ton of tasks all at the exact same time, and really there was, yeah, it's just too much, right? Like you got the conveyor belt, it's trying to feed this conveyor belt, feed this conveyor belt, move to these parts, which ones are missing, then tell each turret to turn around, look for, you know, uh, a bad guy close by, all that, right? So it was kind of, it wasn't horrible, but it was just, you know, just a little bit, and I was, it was getting a little annoying. So anyways, I put an AI module, which is right there on the base, and I put a bunch of guns around it. So we got a, uh, as you guys can see, it's still a little framey, but it's not horrible. It's not like what it was. Yeah, I'm just going to go like this. Sorry. So we got a bunch of uh, Venture long rifles on the sides here, um, or I guess on the anchor blocks. And then on this side, we have a bunch of three pound cannons. That's pretty much it, other than the Megaton Cannon up top here. I do want to add more, but it's just that we don't have more at the moment, right? So, as we grow with um, weapons, also shell the base, right? <laughs> now, also, I added the, um, the scrapping conveyor belt, I guess you'd say, right here. Uh, I know this is too close, so as you guys can see, the... The SCU unit here will grab anything that we drop on the ground here. So you either have to drop it right into, right into the machine or we're going to have to, I think, put a mobile SCU unit here instead just because it has a smaller radius, right? It should, if we put it on top here, it should reach only, like, I think the bubble. Let's say we want, like, that. Yeah, see? So if we put a mobile SCU unit up here, it wouldn't even, it wouldn't be too bad at all. Uh, okay, put that back. Uh, what else did I do to the base here? Um, oh yeah, I added two more uh, component factories. Uh, just because the other day we were having, I was having a lot of issues for some reason. As you can see, there's a the silo here, and that was because resources were coming onto this conveyor belt for no reason, and they were just going around in circles. So I put the conveyor or the silo here just to see if there was any like resources that didn't need to be here and this filled right up i was like okay so what did we need and then certain resources weren't going into the refineries um stuff like that right like i actually had to start removing the conveyor belt in front of chunks to get the chunk to actually go into the uh component factory so i'm guessing 
there was just a little bit of a hiccup there maybe but maybe a little more than a little but uh hopefully it's fixed now uh sorry i was just looking to see if we had another because we need to make some more dongles we need to because these are just this one has the advanced dongle on it but this one has nothing on it um so let's actually let's just do that real quick let's just see if it's actually i haven't really manufactured too much on it today um it was more or less just uh oh there we go okay <laughs> see that's a little bit of a the freeze that i'm talking about there's a lot there's a lot going on right so and it might be because we have too many uh silos here and we have two uh two filters going in right so might be well we might do some experiments in the future but i'm thinking that it might be better if you put uh two uh two resources in one silo so if this whole the big ones the lots of silos hold i believe it's 90 90 resources nine stacks 90 resources yeah so you could have 45 of each of one kind in there right but we're just going to see for now it's not horrible it just froze there well lagged up just a hair there right but <laughs> uh so far everything seems to be running well and that's what we want so uh i don't think there's much more like in growth on this part right it's pretty much right where we want it to be um i don't need it to be or we don't need it to be any uh, i guess crazy uh, we don't need a crazy size base, right? We need a lot of storage. I will say that we do need a lot of storage and we do need a lot of parts so that we can scrap. But as for, you know, fabricators and stuff like that, like we can add more fabricators onto it. It's just, there's no need to it, right? Uh, and this is what you really don't want to see get spawning in on you, but uh, <laughs> if it's not a raider, it's just a normal tech. Uh, but yeah, he's a little bit bigger than even anything we really want to deal with and oh he's going after the harvester right now and the base which is not the greatest thing in the world um hopefully we can kill him but i don't care if he destroys the harvester it's not much we can do about that but we need to stop him from destroying the base and he's got a ton of megaton cannons okay come on <laughs> this is this is crucial we need to we need to do this fast <laughs> come on tell me you're just dead no because he's gonna he's slowly chewing through the the components there um i think he knocked off a couple of things so far let's uh just get rid of that scrapper okay so that was horrible <laughs> look at all the stuff that's getting scrapped right now uh i don't know if i like that but there, let's uh, just I want to make sure that we keep everything I don't want to risk um, like if there's a megaton cannon or two sitting on the ground here I don't want to risk losing them oh there was there was a couple underneath us but man yeah he just spawned in uh, just on the edge of the <laughs> edge of the base there so obviously we need to put a, l a lot more weapons on the base <laughs> just all I could see was this wall of <coughs> excuse me parts um that really sucks because it looks like we need to make a couple uh at least one more I, I okay i guess it wasn't horrible we need to make yeah a couple more or one more uh hawkeye rotor blade i think unless we have a couple in reserve uh, but yeah i'm gonna go around i'm gonna collect all the parts that he dropped oh wow that was close though um it could have went really really sideways for us there uh, but yeah, I'll get all the parts, and when daylight comes, I guess, I'll bring you guys back, or, or... Well, apparently there's another one that wants to fight, and we don't have any shields for our base, so... Good thing he's he doesn't have any weapons, but... <laughs> Still, it's something we don't really want to deal with, right? Um, yeah, so I guess that's one of the reasons we're going to have to, yeah, add more weapons, add more batteries... And, uh, hopefully we can deal with whatever comes next. Should, it shouldn't have too much of a problem. Obviously, they're going to kick it up uh, in oh, the difficulty. 
Uh, depending on how long we stay in one spot, right? I think that's one of the things, too, is uh, that we don't know about the game, is that the longer you stay in one spot, the more techs spawn in, but the bigger they're going to spawn in, so they kind of try and force you to move, because that's the thing, right, is that uh, Terra Tech is doing that, uh, you know, forcing you to move kind of thing, making the resources not spawn or respawn and stuff like that. Um, there's only a couple reasons for it, right? So it looks like uh, morning is coming, but uh, yeah, I'll get all the stuff done and or collected, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, so the base wasn't messed up too bad. Uh, we lost a little bit of conveyor belt system, which is what it is. And then uh, to our flyer, actually, all, the only thing we we lost was the uh, the one Hawkeye rotor fan. That's it. So I'm just coming over here so we can get some of this uh, celestite out of the ground. Um, I think after this node disappears, we're going to have to go find, or hunting down more, which we, well, we know where to go and find it, but hopefully it's in abundance in other places. Um, I think there was only two or three uh, spots for it here, and I, I think I've already mined this one. I think there's only a little bit left in here. Let's see. The only reason that I left it is, yeah. There's probably only one or two pieces left in here. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking, uh, maybe there's there's two ways that this could play out. So maybe Terratech is trying to force you to move, right? Uh, build a base and then, you know, use up all the resources in that area and then move, right? But then there's also the second option where it's like, they know you're going to use up all the, all the resources in that area. So they send you a bunch of techs so that you have resources to, or, um items to scrap for resources, right? So there's like a catch-22 there, which is also in our benefit because like, uh, if we don't want to move or you build a base that's, you know, really good and you don't want to move, and especially now that they don't have the, you can still, like we could take a snapshot of this base and then, there's a guy coming in right here. Um, we could take a snapshot and then immediately go somewhere else and then call it in. But if you didn't want to do that at all, then obviously you just sit in one spot and you know what I mean? You just uh, pretty much destroy all the techs that come in and you have unlimited resources. I, I completely forgot about that or I didn't think of it that way, right? Because right now that's pretty much what's happening and they land on the borders, we go kill them. We could bring all that, you know, bring it all back, uh, throw it in their scrappers, get the resources, keep going, right? And then you just keep... Um, scrapping and making the parts that you want and uh you know keep everything else that <laughs> that you need right uh obviously hawkeye is number one for us so and it always will be hawkeye I, until i think they come out with a, a faction that's a little bit stronger or different like if they had a bug faction which i think they have one but it's not going to be it won't be released for until the expansion of terror i'm sure of it uh, but I think that's that one would be interested. I'd be interested in playing that one <laughs> But I'm going to uh, get some more stuff uh, Going here So what I've decided to do or what I've decided we're gonna try and make is we're gonna start making a tank um, Probably a parts collector tank. So, you know one kind of with a it might have a keychain uh, Actually more than likely it'll have a keychain. Oops. Sorry, you guys. Just trying to get rid of all that stuff underneath them. But yeah, uh, I just think that it's going to be better because we're going to collect a ton of parts. And with those parts, we'll be able to... Um, like I have to just keep stacking them. We're going to be able to scrap them and, you know, get more ideas of what we need. Or, I guess, more parts of what we want. Um, I do want to make, like I said uh, at the beginning of this season... We're going to be looking at uh, hovercrafts, especially now, and uh, uh, flyers, harvesting flyers. So it, those are going to be coming. Uh, we just need to max the grades out and or get all the parts, max grades. And we need, you know, we need that uh, generation of ton of parts, right? So the, the bigger the library we have or inventory we have, the better it is for us. And I think a tank is going to do just that, right? It's going to get us a lot of parts. Um, cause we have a lot of Hawkeye quests here. There's three right there. Plus the joy ride. Um, and most of these, you know, you know, hunt down heart, uh, what is it? Geocorp hunter, 
adventure hunter and then tech hunter right <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do oh see and then there's a hawkeye right there and it's like well what do we do can we go over there do we have what it takes to kill him it's possible uh, all right we'll go over there we'll see uh the rail guns for sure are doing <laughs> the most work for us when they aim right and and the rail guns do aim slightly it's not a big one it's like it's kind of like the stud lasers and the way they aim it's very uh narrow Not 100% sure if he's got a bunch of gas tanks on the side of him there, or those are repair bubbles. Oh no, they're shotguns. <laughs> I think they reduced the size. Oh man, did they ever look at that, hey? Because we always knew that the, uh, the mobile SCA unit, its grab radius was a lot smaller than... Uh, the original SCU unit, but man, <laughs> I think it's because I'm probably used to the magnets, and we really haven't gotten a magnet bot going uh, since uh, we lost our saves. And when we do, everything will go back to normal, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we got that. So what we're, I guess, our main goal will be at the moment, because what do we have? Let's let's see what we have for parts. We have. Literally just the two tank treads that we have on the front of us. Um, and you guys know me, I like the tank treads. So, yeah, that's going to be what we're crafting up here. All right. Uh, I just want to grab that other. There it is. I was about to say, did it not complete it? There we go. Okay, so that's everything. All of them are all the way up to exotic. Uh... Let's see, ion pulse and thermo jet. So let's just repeatedly craft that. Doesn't look like it's too bad, actually five round trunks. That's that's the weird part too, is like when it asks for wood, you're like, really? You want wood? <laughs> just because it's, you know, not one of those resources where you think it's needed, right? It's more or less, okay, well, I'm just gonna sell you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a bunch of tank treads going. Um, probably get... I don't know if we'll get a railgun, but I'd like to get another... At least one Hawkeye cannon turret. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that one would cost. Where is it here? Right there. That doesn't look like it's too bad. Gluon beam? Don't even have a clue what that is. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.